that's the stuff. Can we see? You can see, right? Thanks, Gear Hard, by the way. So each row is like you get to choose one of those four, one of those four, one of those four, right? So strength of soul, less heal, heal, great heal, and flash heal reduce the uh, remaining cool uh, duration of weaker soul on targets. They heal by four seconds. PvP wise, I mean it's okay. You can do a flash heal and you can get a shield sooner, but it really depends how strong the shield is. This might be overpowered if you're not playing Shadow, just because you the shield is actually really strong. Serendipity healing with flash heal reduces the cast of next lesser heal. Great heal or prayer healing. This is more like PvE, I would say. You just you don't go for that many flash heals in general to get this stack that high, so it's like kind of whatever. Void Void Plague. This is just another dot, right? This is just VT, but like by the looks of it, another instant. Instead of having loads of magic shit, it's just like more diseases, right? That's what it looks like. It's Wrath DP without the self heal. Yeah. I mean if you're undead, you're gonna have like two diseases, right? And it's gonna be a lot of damage, a lot of dot damage, and then twist of faith, uh, mind flame, mind blast, deal twenty percent increased damage to targets afflicted with your shadow of pain. That's actually that's not like the twist of faith we're used to, where it was like uh, if you hit a target under a certain amount, you do more damage or healing or whatever. You remember how that was? It was like ten percent more healing after you heal something under a certain HP, something like that. So this actually looks pretty good from a single target point of view. Uh, this is going to be way more bursty. I actually wonder if that's just straight up better than Void Plague. Why is OG Twisted Faith bad? Um, so the way that it worked in uh, in retail is you had like choices. And one of the choices was Twist of Faith. And the problem is tw Twist of Faith didn't actually change the way that you played the game at all. It was just like a random passive buff to healing sometimes. Uh, and you know me, I hate passive shit. I think uh, everything should be active. I think passive stuff is is is... If you have something that's passive, it should modify the way that an ability is used in some way so that you have to play your character slightly differently. If it's going to be a passive that doesn't change what you do in any way, shape, or form, what's the fucking point in it? It's just like an extra stat, you know? Uh, Prayer of Mending. Place a spell on the target that heals them for 150 the next time they take damage or receive healing. Wait, what? The next time they take damage or receive healing. You see, this is why I wanted to screenshot it. Because this is different. This is a this is a slightly adjusted POM. Normally, POM does not do this. I mean, it's not the classic plus we wanted, right? It'll be fun to test out new meta, try some PvP, see if how it goes. But uh, it's like retail trash, cat are trash. This... Honestly, I'm... I'm Okay, so I'm least excited for retail. Then I'm least excited for Kata, then I'm least excited for this. This isn't what we wanted, but it's like the other two are so bad that I just don't give a fuck. Like Kata is so unbelievably fucking dog shit. I just, I'm probably going to play it for a month and puke and go off it. I think at least this is like a seasonal thing. They're trying out a bunch of new stuff. I respect that. If it doesn't work, they're going to, there'll be a new season, you know. Um, it's not as if it's, this is literally Classic Plus. I think they're warming up for Classic Plus, plus or... or trialing things for, for classic plus but like no one plays classic for the pve the pve is just a means to an end uh right when a heal occurs prayer mending jumps to nearby party member within 20 yards jumps five times last 30 seconds so everything else is the same so the only thing that's different is when they receive healing which is interesting i actually kind of like that change like everything else aside from a core like spell mechanic point of view this is kind of cool i wonder if this just works when people get like a renew tick right homunculi break off splinter of your soul all right, Voldemort, calm down. Animate three miniature copies of yourself that attempt to attack your target with a mace, sword, and axe, reducing the attack speed, attack power, and armor, respectively, of any target they hit. So it's just Barovs. Yeah, can they be killed? How much health do they have? Can they be CC'd? Do they just get Novid and call it a day? Shared pain, your power, uh, your shadow pain now also flicks up to two nearby targets. With so this is like PvE. I wonder if that does AoE blackouts. That could be cool. It's just an easy way of spreading dots, right? By the looks of it. Yeah, just spam the rank one pain around and just get it everywhere. The dirty pain. I wonder if the other thing you want to know is does this, the, does, hopefully this doesn't spread to CC targets, right? Powered barrier. Sometimes a holy barrier to protect all party members at target location for 10 sec, reducing all damage taken by 25% and preventing damage from delaying spell casting. It's actually pretty strong. 25% damage reduction. Um, the thing is, right, you, you, what you want to wonder is, can ship like this be used in uh, shadow form? Like, does this count as a the same thing as, like, power shield? Or will this break you? Or does it count as a holy spell and you have to leave shadow form to do it? Should be a discipline spell. Yeah, well, it, I mean, that's how it kind of looks, right? Um, whereas like POM, for example, I would assume you have to swap out for, um, but this, this looks pretty strong, actually. I'm, I'm interested to see how much damage these guys do, or is, do they not do any damage and they just reduce 
attack speed and just debuff, right? Is it magic debuffs? Does it cause a load of magic debuffs that are really annoying? All right, moving on. Shadow of Death. Uh, it doesn't say the cooldown. Oh, Word of Dark, binding that inflicts 130 to 152 shadow damage to the target. If the target is not killed by the Shadow of Death, the caster takes damage equal to the damage inflicted upon the target. My character, uh, my camera's in the way, sorry. I'll move it. So that's pretty hype. I think this is very good, just non full stop, right? Uh, if you're playing Shadow, for sure, you want this. Uh, the Moncast thing is you have to choose between this and Penance. Yeah, they haven't put cool lands for anything, so... Hard to know. Circle of Healing is going to be PvE. Uh, heals all targets. Uh, target players, party members. So it's not... You can't target people, target parties and do this. It's your your party only. It's not only your party. Wait. Uh, heals all of target players. But oh, yeah, so you can do it on other parties. Okay, cool. Sorry. Just read it. And then this looks like Shadow PvE. Launches a volley of holy light to a target, causing damage to an enemy or healing to an ally. So it's just standard penance by the looks of it. I think as disc, you're going to have a really hard time choosing between this and this. What's the difference between circle of healing and prayer of healing? Prayer of healing is your party only and is a cast time. And I'm imagining healing for way more well. Circle is like, uh, you can do it on any group, but it's instant. To be honest, there's nothing that wild for Priest. It's mostly stuff we've seen from other expansions. Like, this is kind of new. Pom got some small changes here. Uh, this is new. This is new. Um, everything else is kind of similar. I guess this is new. This is this reminds me of... I think it's... Is it Misery? There's one of them. There's one talent that, like, puts AoE dots up in retail. I can't remember which one it is. This is kind of nuts as well. Like, with how strong Power Word Shield is. For PvE, you just want this, I think. I think you'd you'd say like disc pve something like that um and then either you know you could go this for shadow or this i actually think both of these are good Twenty percent increased damage on just just flat increased damage like mind play is gonna chunk man same with Mind Blast. Like, that's chunky damage. Whereas this is more like long-term damage over time. I think maybe Shadow PvE. Something like that. I can't imagine. Like, the extra dot is nice, but I cannot imagine you passing this up. This looks so insane. Like, unless the... I don't know what the scaling is like on this. But unless this is, like, absolutely unreal, you're not taking this against most, I would say. I think you want the 20... Yeah, but the problem is, if you take this in PvE... You're going to pull aggro constantly with Mind Blast. This is uh, Disc PvP. I think. Maybe PvE. The barrier is nice, but it depends on the cooldown. This is Shadow. PvE. This is Shadow PvP for sure. But this could also be Shadow PvP, right? If you can use this in Shadow form. I'm just going to put PvP in general for that. This this has really nice utility availability, like... And PvE. For, for both. There's no way you can, you can... The thing is, unless they adjust the way that Mind Blast works, you're just going to pull aggro with this in PvE. Um, and then this is, like, disc... Slash shadow. PvP. I can't. I just can't see a world where you don't take death in PvP. Even though penance exists. Like, you'll take this as main tank healer, I guess. But, like, you have pallets for that anyway, so, like, why? Like, how how is Penance the worst thing in this tier? I don't know, mate. Like, there's probably some situations where you'd want it. But I just think... 
Like any sort of world PvP and whatnot, you can kick yourself if you don't have this. You, you I mean, this is the thing, right? So, so what are, what types of PvP are there? There's like world PvP, there's 1v1 duels, and there's BGs, right? And then there's PvE. Five-man PvE, maybe. Yeah, okay, if one penance tops someone, it's going to be nuts, right? I think this is a good first impressions allocation, right? It's going to be interesting, just to say the least. It's going to be interesting.